What makes software so expensive? Kent Beck. Hello, I'm Chris Athanas. I'm a KMP developer. Tech support told me they're going to close that thing for sure. On Tuesday, they, they may. I really think they're going to do it this time. Okay, Kent Beck, let's see what he has to say about what, what, makes, software, what makes software so expensive. I am very curious about that. What makes these things so expensive? Let's see what Kent Beck says. Let's see. The cost of software is roughly equivalent to the cost of change. Okay. That's that observation about we spend most of the money in software development on maintenance. Yeah, because of the way, because of the stuff we're using to build this stuff, software is not fit to be this. We didn't build it. We built to write it. We didn't build it to maintain it. And it's just nobody likes to. Nobody's put any time there. And, and nobody ever, but even though all the costs are there, but nobody wants to build an easier platform. That's like, nope, just got to pull, run it on C on the bottom level, basically. There's one level above assembly because we can't do anything better. It's like, no, you can, but for some reason, I don't know, you don't. Which is just, in the XP world, we took this entirely all the way and said, instead of spending 70% on maintenance, what if we spent 99% on maintenance? That seems like a good number. We'll just get it in production and then build it up from there and then we're mostly means. making changes but the cost of change all changes don't cost the same amount the cost of change is approximately equal and i'll explain why in just a second to the cost of big changes all right what i, I, I mean hope he explains changes? this um if you made a histogram of the cost of changes this is the count of the number of changes that you make and uh, this is the cost. That's supposed to be a euro sign. <laughs> the minus of handwriting slides is my um, my drawing handwriting sucks. So fair enough. Oh uh, well. So if we make a histogram, what it's going to look like is this. We're going to have lots and lots of little changes that are cheap, and we're going to have a few changes that are really expensive. What are those? What's the nature of those changes? Here's where coupling, as defined just here, is really helpful. What makes changes really expensive is not just the change. It's, I change this, so I have to change those, so I have to change those. Right, because the system was not designed for changes in mind. As Alan Kay was trying to tell everybody about back in the 80s, he was like, hey, this all this train kept keeping everything all connected together, this coupling thing that you love to do in C, C and C++ because of performance, we're going to have to step away from that. That means we're going to have to give up some performance to gain to get a, a whole foothold of complexity again because of this cup, coupling issue that uh, that rears its other ugly head all the time and it causes most of the cost of maintaining these damn things. We can write them, but we can't update them, change them because we don't understand them figure out why they're going wrong, why they're, what's monitoring them, what, what debugging them. All that stuff is that's the hard part. And people are like, "No, no, it's just how it is." It's like, "No, man. No, that we can definitely do solutions." And I'm wondering if some of these companies have solutions or I don't know. It's just weird how we've we're so far down with these technologies and they're kind of coming to the they're kind of bumping up on the edge cuz they're all talking about the same same damn problems with coupling and the cost of change and everything's super fragile and all stuff is just overly complicated. I think we need to start talking, listen to what Alan Kay has talked about. I talk over it in my course, how to program from the ground up minimal BS, which is free. And I don't sell you anything. Although all I want is a GitHub star, please. And I got to, to explain the difference between class oriented programming cop and a boop with a back to object oriented program, which is what the Alan Kay was talking about. And Yegor Bugienko described in full detail, years ago that when nobody still nobody listens to i don't know why this stuff's genius he's like all these problems have been have a solutions but they have to take a different way of thought which is like you have to give up your little performance all right so there's yes directly accessing something is more performant but we have another thing called the maintenance cost which is our extreme you might get a little you might get a little tit hit on the on the performance but you're gonna wipe it all away with the with the damn coupling those so i have to change those it's this cascading effect yeah. that if you looked at complexity theory you're going to recognize a power law distribution here right and it's the exact same mechanism 
It causes avalanches and hurricanes. It's the you know, same most stuff. You can't is, get away from this. just one snowflake falls over. Yeah, it's a, law, it's a law of complexity. And that's it, and nothing else happens. But there's a non-zero chance that one snowflake falling over is going to cause two more snowflakes to fall over. And each of those has a non-zero chance of causing two more and more and more. So if you make it a histogram of the size of avalanches, most of them are just going to be one snowflake falling over, and that's that. Right. And there's a bajillion of those happening all the time, and you don't really notice. But you notice the one that comes sweeping through the village and wipes everything off the map. Right. So the, whether the, this highly coupled systems will eventually succumb to an avalanche. Sorry. That's just how it is. And those happen every once in a while. The more changes... The more extreme both of the ends of this are going to be. So when we have way more changes, we're going to have many, many more small changes. And the most expensive change is going to be much, much more expensive. Well, maybe. In software, what conducts the cost of, of a change is exactly coupling. If A and B are coupled, then when I change A, I have to change B. And if B is coupled to C and D, then... I mean, that's one factor, I guess. I guess the biggest one, okay. I'm gonna have to change C and D and, 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 and. Thing about power law distributions is a big percentage of the cost is in this tail. Even though this is a small number of changes in an absolute number, the cost of that compared to the cost of all the rest of it, that tail is really expensive. Right, because the, because the cost of each, each one of those changes is 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 still expensive because the system was not designed for to make it easy and I have it update automatically like have processes are automated is we were still using languages that are written in like the 90s and the 80s for other for machines that were not anything near what these things are we're trying to do with them and it's taking superhuman efforts to keep them up and we have we're gonna have to have a revolution in that because it's 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 like uh Realizing we have a gasoline internal combustion engine and still using external combustion is like, we got a lot of soot and everybody's coughing off the smoke. It's like, well, we can do internal combustion and then we can clean that stuff up. Well, that's a lot of tooling change. That's all. We got a lot of, we got a lot, a lot of money in the steam industry. It's like, yeah, I know. I get it. So coupling is important because the less coupled your system is, the less likely the changes are to propagate. The well, I mean, if you change an API, you're down back to the same problem. So how about some information about how to how migrate APIs? <laughs> Deprecating and migrating APIs, uh, not just they got to keep it decoupled. It's like, yeah, we kind of know that right now, man. The less extreme the cost of these most expensive changes is, the longer you can last uh, continuing to change the software. Okay, I mean, it's a little vague, but... I mean, I don't, I don't expect much from these. To some of these guys, they, they get. I think they get paid from the vague. As I can. I, that's that rhymes. That's pretty good. All right, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll keep ranting and uh, complaining about these guys. I <laughs> hope it's helpful.